Sorry, honey. What's going on? They've just got you. We'd like you to come down to the station, Mr Dingle. What? What now? We have reason to believe your previous statement might not have been entirely truthful. What reason? This is rubbish. So, would you like to revise your account of your movements on the day Mr Tate went missing? No. I've got nothing else to say. You know what? This is blatant harassment. Fine. In that case, Keen Dingle, I'm arresting you to allow for the prompt and effective investigation of the murder of Joseph Tate. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. So, go on, what did the police take? Laptop, papers, sat nav from his car. Oh, yeah, cos everyone keys in a postcode when they're trying to bury a body, don't they? Charity. Sir. You know, I haven't heard from Debbie. I thought she'd at least ring when she found out her dad got arrested. Moira, she cares about him OK, of course she does, but let's just say we're working on the forgiveness part. Hello? Moira? No, it's Charity. Um, she's just gone upstairs. She's giving Isaac a bottle. So what's going on? Have you charged you? Not yet. Oh, right, so you're just ringing for a little chat, are you? Wow, hot and blue. I've gone soft. I told them I need to sort out childcare. Will you just shut up and listen? You are in no position to snap at me right now. Right, you need to go around to Graham's and tell him I explained about meeting Joe. I'm uh, sorry, what? Graham was with me. Right. I warned Joe to stay away from Debbie and we both watched him walk away. Oh, yeah, and what if Graham doesn't remember this? Well, then you need to persuade him and do it fast because the police are on the way. But... Just do it, right? Otherwise, I'm going down for murder. Mr Foster, can I come in? I expect you're going to anyway. This is about Mr Tate, I assume. You don't sound overly worried. Close friends and family are usually quite alarmed at this point. I know Joe better than anyone else. That's why I'm not worried. We're no nearer to establishing his current location, so we're now concerned for Mr Tate's safety. Mm. Joe would uh, be very flattered by all this consternation, but like I told you, he didn't disappear, he left. Which I believe is a free man's prerogative. So remind me. What were your movements on the last day Mr Tate was seen? Haven't we, um, done this already? Yeah. But we've spoken to other witnesses and your story isn't matching up. 